The fight for racial justice has been a constant battle for as long as we can look back. It's not just 2020, but a yearly back and forth of getting knocked down and gaining strength only to get knocked down again. My heart breaks at the recent verdict of the Breonna Taylor case. I'm angry, I'm numb, I'm confused, but I'm not surprised. My emotions have been all over the place and my own internal battle has been in a constant stride to not give up hope, to still believe that God is up to something and to not become apathetic in all this pain. I read this on Twitter and I want to offer this encouragement to my black brothers and sisters. Be angry, but remain hopeful. Be hurt, but remain encouraged. Be tired, but remain focused. Be shocked, but remain ready. Be disgusted, but remain engaged. Be disappointed, but remain steadfast. Be discouraged, but remain committed. Be everything you need to be, but defeated. To my white brothers and sisters, specifically those who feel a need to justify the final verdict, to those who feel a sense of defensiveness with me even talking about this right now, I'm not here to debate between right or wrong, system versus individual, who's at fault and who's not. I'm asking you to take a pause Because right now, a mother is having to relive her world being ripped apart every single day without relief in sight. Right now, a family is mourning. Right now, a people are crying out to be heard, to be seen. The Apostle Paul gave clear instructions how Christ followers should act in moments like this. Romans 12, 15 says, mourn with those who mourn. You have brothers and sisters who are mourning right now because Breonna Taylor's story is so deeply intertwined with our own. We are grieving and begging for a justice system to see us. So please take a breath, open your eyes, soften your heart, and mourn with us for just a bit. Church, Christ is still on the throne. He is with us. He is up to something. He is at work despite all the mess. He is the light in the darkness, and that darkness did not, cannot, and will not overcome the light. He is in us. He is working in us. And his work in us is to continue to fight to do better. Let's do better. I want to close out by saying the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant me that I may not much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to loved. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we pardon. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen, amen, and amen.